My name is Peyton Coulter. I go to Dunbar High School and I play softball and golf for my high school. Um, I've been on the golf team for three years and then the softball team for four years. I'm the um, editor-in-chief for my Lamplighter, the news, and I am the oldest of four children, so I like to be um, more in charge of things. I just like being there for people. I like to be one of those people where you always have someone to talk to. So when it happened um, my junior year, I was very excited because we got two weeks off and it was like nice and we were all, I hung out with my friends. And then once everything started getting pushed back, it was just like, when's it gonna end? Um, I didn't see my, I haven't seen my grandparents for about a year and a half now and I used to see them all the time. And um, I learned really how to motivate myself trying to do schoolwork at home because I like going out. I don't like staying at my house. I don't like um, being in my room the entire time. It's just hard for me to sit down and do schoolwork, study. Because when that was happening, I was studying for the ACT to try to get a higher score. It was just about trying to motivate myself to do schoolwork and sit in my room all day. I mean, I was wearing my pajamas for at least till three o'clock in the afternoon and then I would get changed. It was just very hard for me to sit down in Zoom classes and just pay attention to it. I honestly wish I could do over my senior year. I mean, my mom was cleaning out the basement the other day and she found her yearbook from her senior year and she talked about all the things that they used to do, like this senior tailgate, I didn't get to do one of those. And I, we were supposed to have our senior dinner dance, but we can't even dance there because of the restrictions. And then prom and graduation, I mean, graduation, you're only allowed to have four tickets and I have five people in my family, so someone has to sit out. So I'm a hands-on learner. I do not learn it like learning online. I'm, get, I'm just better at learning in school and use, working with my hands. I never liked typing on a computer to do that stuff. So when it came to math or chemistry I took last year, it was just harder for me to learn those things. And then I have three younger siblings, so they were also asking me what they needed to learn or what they needed help on. So I was trying to teach them while I was teaching myself. And it was just hard for me because I like learning with other people. And like, I felt like I was the only person struggling and I knew there were plenty other people struggling in this, but my parents had to leave to go to work every day. So I was making food for my siblings. It was usually nice coming home from school to have like a break from school. But since we were learning at home, there was never really a break or getting out of the house even. Trying to hang out with my friends or learning with my friends was actually better for me because I found out who my real friends were. Um, in September and October, I hung out with this one girl all the time. We would do school together on like Wednesdays or Thursdays, something like that, or we would try to do homework together if we were struggling on it. And then in like the fall and slash winter, when UK's campus opened up, we would go to the library over there to help get out of the house and do school there. It felt weird walking back into school. It just felt so different. Like I felt like it was kind of like, it felt strange because usually you're in summer, summer's three months, and then you go back to school. It was kind of just like walking into an unknown territory that you would just, that you just, it was so far long ago that you were learning in school. And then seeing all these restrictions that we had to do. And it was, since my brothers are freshmen, uh, it was my first time driving them to school and it just felt weird how like I'm gonna be gone in only a couple months and how my senior year got cut short, but it seemed like everyone else's had a normal senior year. Especially with time management, with me learning, I learned how to, like, it's time to focus on schoolwork. Like, I couldn't look on my phone anymore. And I was also, um, 
I learned on note cards. I just wrote down everything that I would learn one day and then I would just read off those just to make sure I was getting taught and learning myself because I knew that no one would help me since I'm in my room all the time. So navigating life through a pandemic, I never thought I would have to experience one of these. I didn't even know what a pandemic was when I was 17 years old, but navigating through it, all I have to say is that you got to focus on yourself. You have to learn who you are and you have to learn what you have to do to be able to get through it. You can't, you can't just quit and say, I don't want to do this anymore because you're going to have to you have to grow up essentially. I mean, I feel like these past couple of months I grew up, I just felt like I've gotten older and because I know I couldn't quit on myself because if I quit on myself, then I wouldn't be here today. So after graduation, I'm planning to go to the University of Kentucky to major in nursing because um, I wanted to stay closer to my family and also I wanted to study nursing because when I was little, well, when I was nine years old, my family got in a really bad car accident and um, my dad almost died. It was just long months. It's in 2012. It was a long time for my family and we never really experienced anything like that. So I want to try to go on into nursing to help people who experience stuff like I did there. I am Peyton Coulter and I'm a graduate of Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School.